This is the Big O Tires Cougar Locker Room Show. Dallin Holker with us now from field level here at the Coliseum. Dallin, three catches, 56 yards tonight. Dallin, thanks for coming on. Yeah, thank you. Thanks uh, for having me. You bet. It's our pleasure. So uh, maybe you could take us a little bit, take our listeners into the locker room tonight and tell us what kind of vibe you guys experienced about uh, 15, 20 minutes ago. I mean, you know, we're all super excited. Uh, you know, we just uh, – we were down in that game, and so – we trust each other, and we know how we know how we could do as long as we trust each other. And in that locker room, man, it's just happy. We're all just grateful for the win and that we're able to uh, be all together. We're just enjoying the moment in there. I, I don't want to be too down right now, but let's have a word for your brother, uh, Isaac Rex. Um, he went down with a pretty nasty-looking injury that required an air cast. Uh, maybe just a thought or two from you about what it's like to play alongside him, your thoughts when you saw him down. Um, how his spirits are, if you've had any word at all from him, and how you plan to kind of pick up the slack for him moving forward. Yeah, no, I mean, it sucks seeing a player like Isaac go down like that. I mean, just playing with him, I've been able to learn so much from him and, and work with him. And, I mean, I love him. He's my brother. So especially when your brother goes down like that, it's sad to see. Uh, I mean, I haven't got to talk to him yet. Um, I hope I get to see him soon. But, I mean, just praying for him and hoping that uh, he can have a, a speedy recovery and that, that it's nothing too crazy. So, Dallin, did you know you could have 22 yards rushing on the stat sheet without an actual rushing attempt? <laughs> I know. I, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's what you logged today. Talk to us. It seemed to me like you were the only person on the field that saw that ball pop out of Tyler Algiers' hands on that on that game-winning, what eventually became the game-winning drive. Talk us through that play. Yeah, I know. I just uh, it was run up the middle, and I, I came up the middle to lead block for him, and uh, nobody was really there, and so I, I, Tyler was in the pile, and I kind of just came over to, to help push, and then the ball just came flying out, and it literally just came right down next to my feet. So I just scooped it up and hoped nobody was right next to me and just ran, and then I saw down the field that I could hear their sideline yelling. They're like, the, the play's still going, the play's still going. And, so I, and they were like all walking off the field. And I was just running, and, and Keanu Hill was down there blocking for me, so I was just following him, and, man, it was crazy. It was awesome. How about Keanu stepping up uh, with Neil Pau going down late to Gunnar Romney couldn't play tonight, and there's Keanu hauling in a 41-yard touchdown pass tonight. Yeah, I know. Keanu's a dog, and, you know, that's his mentality, and I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy for him. He definitely deserves it. He, he, you know, he plays his heart out. He practices hard, so I'm happy for him. Now, it seemed when you guys were leading 21-10, last possession of the first half, it kind of felt like, all right, if BYU goes up 28-10 here, that might be, you know, it might, might put USC in, in a spot from which it's tough to recover from. But credit to USC, they make a play, they get back in the game. You went from leading 21-10, leading 28-13 to trailing in the fourth quarter. It was a little bit unfamiliar, right, Dallin, to be down late like you were. You won a lot of games kind of going away or, or using four minutes at the end. Tonight was different. Yeah, no, I mean, it for sure was, and I mean, that's definitely something we need to be better at, especially when we had a lead like that. Um, you know, we can't let them come back and have um, get that energy and get our sideline go going. So, you know, it's definitely something that we need to be better at is keeping that lead and just keep going and pushing. So talking about unique stat lines, in the third quarter, uh, BYU as a team, BYU had 10 rushing attempts for one yard, yet turn it around and the rushing game got going, uh, especially on that, uh, again, that game-winning drive. What were they doing in the third quarter that caused so, ma so many problems for you guys, and then how did you counter it uh, in the fourth quarter to get the run game going again? Um, you know, we had uh, you know, a few injuries, a few guys going in and out, so I think we were just trying to you know, find our rhythm, get our rhythm as an offense and, and get it going. But, you know, in that fourth quarter, uh, we had our guys, and you know, we just we just knew what needed to be done, and we've been in a situa situations like this before, so we knew we just needed to fight and keep going and and push along, and, and that's what we did in that fourth quarter. Just trusted each other, each other as a team, and man, it was fun, fun to be there and fun to watch. Uh, what does being part of a 10-win regular season? Uh, what kind of significance does that have for you? Uh, you know, I mean, it's awesome. Uh, you know, super grateful. In college football, it's hard to win. It's hard to win every week, and. You know, 10 wins, there's not many people who do that. So we're definitely super blessed, and so I'm super thankful that, you know, I have the teammates and coaches that I have, so super blessed. You had to follow the 11-1 and one season from afar, right? Yeah. Uh, so when you got back and heard everyone talking about that, is it kind of nice to be part of, a, of another special season the very next year? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, it means everything being out here with my brothers again um, and, you know, just going and, and playing as hard as we can, it, it means everything.
All right, uh, next up, you got to wait and see where you're going to play. Uh, it's not up to you to make the case for things like the New Year's Six, but certainly you feel that uh, BYU has shown with the number of P5 wins you've got that you're one of the best two-loss teams in the country. Is that fair to say? Oh, yeah, for sure. I definitely think that's fair to say. All right, what do you have planned here for the next uh, a couple days? Uh, a lot of sleep, some schoolwork. What do you plan to do here? Oh, yeah, for sure. Fly home, <laughs> sleep, and recover. <laughs> Well, we don't know when the next game's going to be, but we look forward to seeing you and the guys in it. Dallin, thanks so much for the time tonight. Yeah, no, thank you. All right, that's Dallin Holker, BYU tight end, joining us on the Cougar Locker Room Show.